Remember this? There's only one left. It feels like home. I've had people tell me that. And now it's um, Netflix and chill. Yeah, exactly. Netflix and chill. And binge watching. I mean, I have HBO Go on my phone for crying out loud so I can get Game of Thrones wherever I'm at. I mean, everybody is guilty of it. These days, I find myself living in today's world and also feeling nostalgic for the past, when in some cases, time seems sweeter. And a lot of us do feel nostalgic for various reasons, perhaps for past presidents, for when days were cooler, and when we physically went to malls, to libraries, to video stores. Well, you might recall that there's just one blockbuster left, and so we decided to time travel back to when browsing IRL was the norm. Um, Sandra Harding, everybody calls me Sandy. I'm the general manager here at the uh, last Blockbuster in Bend, Oregon. Every day we are opening two or three accounts because people are coming in going, oh my gosh, I'm so excited you're here. Every Tuesday, they go out and buy new releases that we don't get from our vendor. And um, Walmart, Target, Fred Meyer, it's because I kind of, lack of better terms, spread the love a little bit. People just walk in the door. I can upgrade her. They immediately smile. It's nice to come back and feel that warmth and that safe, you know, childhood memory that you had and kind of forget everything else for a while. My heart's like going like... Oh yeah. All your accounts would Oh yeah. Yeah. Can't even do debit cards anymore because... 04 is when I started here. And that was like at the peak of Blockbuster's like heyday. And Dish acquired Blockbuster in bankruptcy. They just kind of shut everybody down at the same time. And we were a franchise. They let us sign a licensing agreement. So when everybody calls me and says, oh, how can I get a hold of corporate Blockbuster? I'm like, mm, there is none. Like, your best bet is to call Dish Network. And then the whole digital thing came along. I remember actually being in some Blockbuster franchise meetings and people talking about Netflix and Redbox. And I don't think any of us really realized what was to come with the digital um, I don't know, just digital media. And at first we did try to compete. And then we quickly realized that we just needed to do our very best to stay who we were. And that's kind of what I think we've done. We've had people calling us from all over the country to say congratulations. And if you close, make it a museum. We'll still come back and see you. And I keep hearing that from people, and they're like, it's something I miss from my childhood. I remember going every Friday night with my parents or going with my buddies after school and picking up a movie and going home. And, you know, the whole nostalgia of the blockbuster name is what keeps people coming back. The Greek nostos means homecoming, and lagos is pain. And nostalgia was once considered a disease. It's, of course, evolved and become quite a beneficial feeling to have. Nostalgia is a fundamental human emotion. It imbues life with meaning. In nostalgic memories, we go back to important events from our past that made life worth living. So rather than recalling a physical thing, are we not more so remembering a feeling and the people we experience something with? And it serves important psychological functions such as social connectedness, meaning in life, and a sense of continuity in life. And it's a tool that allows us to connect with others, links past to present, and gives us hope for the future. But without the late fees.